Welcome to Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do the beer stuff here. Old friend back in town. A little bit of 5E Baron Michael Brasserie in the form of their, I don't know, O? Umlaut. That's an Umlaut, right? I don't know how that, I just, I think it's just Cobes. I could be wrong. This is a blonde style Kolsch uh, from up out of Canada. Um, they are located, where is it again? Out Gastineau, I believe. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, Al Almeyer, Quebec. So, yeah, this comes courtesy of my boy Jacob, who's part nurse in the brewery. Um, he sent us off with a bunch of other beers. We're going to review them. And we're going to see what's what. Uh, it is Sunday night. It is 9 o'clock. Really, it's 9 o'clock already. Right? Jesus Christ. Um, and I'm watching a little bit of foosball. Figured, do a review while I'm in kind of a little bit of a break here. So, label wise, it's cool. You know, photo background, cool text. I'm not going to rewrite the record books when it comes to label design, but at the same time, I dig it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of. Exactly what I expect to see when I look at a culture. It has that nice kind of straw color. There's a subtle particulate in it floating around. But as far as, you know, you're talking about smaller craft breweries, it's about as clean and crisp as you're ever going to get. It has this really beautiful um, soapy uh, head to it. White as white could be, soapy head with this nice kind of straw color, ultra clear kind of body. The soft, I don't even know if you can see after the bubble's clear, what I'm talking about when it comes to the particulate. I don't know if that's... Actually, my little light here might help with that, but... All right. Anyway. There you go. Let's see him get a nose. <sighs> Hyper crisp. Hyper clean. Very hard to believe it's it, it's not lagered. I mean, you know, Kolsch. It's kind of cold for mint ale, but it has this ultra cleanness to it. Tight, snappy kind of maltiness. <sighs> Maybe if I'm going to lean... In any kind of direction with something from yeast or even hops, it'd be a soft, subtle, kind of ultra under and kind of honeydew melony kind of thing going on here. But it's very, very crisp, very, very clean, super like almost like adjunct level macro beer kind of vibes from it. And I'm saying that in a positive light, I'm not saying that in a negative way. Yeah, it smells like beer flavored beer. Who would have thunk it? Let's just dive in. Cheers, y'all. It's cool because you know it's not beer flavored beer. By the sense, by that I mean like macro beer, because there is a big, huge malt component to this for its ABV level, which I didn't state. Five percent actually drinks much smaller than that. It comes off as like a sub four percent beer for me, but it has it's just super crisp, super snappy super drinkable kind of beer you have this nice kind of slightly bready um toasty crackery maltiness to it nothing hyper again you're talking about the style of beer you're talking about the abv level it's big for that um and then you do get this nice kind of purposeful bittering on the other end of things but the star of the show here is just the cleanliness and the drinkability the crispness the precision of the beer and the way it's kind of made Is that it's so squeaky crisp. It is like definition crispy boy. How do you say crispy boy in, in French? I would try to make something up, but it would probably sound horrible. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it is honestly like 5%. That's my biggest probably not in this. I want this at 2%. You know, no shit, Sherlock. But even if you give this to me at 4 I just want this on draft in my house as potable water. It's kind of how this rolls. Yeah, I mean, as far as cultures go, God, it, it, it has the malt base of what I'd expect from a Kolsch. It dips so heavily into, like, lager vibes that it's, like, very hard to believe it's not a lager uh, yeast. So they've really, really done wonders with the, how they've kind of made this ale kind of produce this level of, like, crispy drinkability. And then you have that purposeful, um, epically must-have-ish bittering that balances off everything else 
and just makes us super drinkable. This is really good stuff, Jacob. Like, really, really good. Like, let's put it this way. This is the, might be one of the best Kolsch's I've ever had in my life. You know? Because for me, Kolsch can be a little bit of a tricky beer. You know, they, they can, it, since it is Yale yeast, but you're, you're cold fermenting and they tend to be, they have us tend to lean a little bit flabby. I think they're probably the, the hardest beer, period, to hide flaws in because I think you're trying to do the lager thing with an ale yeast. So there's a little bit more room for error. And since it is such a light, such a non hideable beer when it comes to flaws, I think cultures more often than not tend to have either a little flabby mouthfeel or maybe a little bit of this, that, and the other thing. Not really getting any of that here. And it just comes off as a really, really great chugger, man. Absolutely what I wanted to drink tonight, you know. Starting to watch a football game um, and just wanted something that it was, you know, drinking. Drinking beer. And this foots the bill 100%. Mm. It's delicious. So, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to say. This is one of the better cultures I've had as well. Yes, Mount Rushmore status might be the best ever. No lie. Not hyperbole. It is that good. Valued availability? No idea. Um, Jacob, let us know it's what, or anybody up there in Quebec who knows, um, knows what this costs. You know, it's, 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 it's a small brewery doing a cult. I'm assuming this is going to be, you know, Canadian, probably 15 bucks, give or take. That's my guess. And leave you with, if you like what we like this, if you like cult, if you like lager, if you like chicken, chugging beers, ripping beers, drinking beers, but you want something above... That definitely shows itself above what, what you typically get from, like, Macro Fair. Yeah, you dig this. So there you go. Review in the books. Hopefully you enjoyed. Keep an eye out for the rest of the 5e um, beers that are going to come down. Um, and tell me about the brewery. Have you been there? Have you had their beers? Have you had this particular beer? All that fun stuff down there. So hopefully you enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a little cold right now. Hopefully see you next time. Cheers, y'all.